Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your development environment for Java server faces. So we'll actually cover the required software for our JSF development environment. And we'll also discuss the high level steps on getting everything set up. Now, before we get on to all the gory details of the JSF requirements, the one bare bones essential thing that you'll need is that you'll need to have the Java development kit installed. So not the JRE, but the actual JDK or the Java development kit. You can check out my YouTube video that'll take you through the steps on how to install Java. So you can simply go to love to code.com slash install Java, and that'll take you through all the steps on installing the Java development kit. But at this point, I'll kind of assume that you have the Java development kit already installed and I'll move forward with the next steps. All right, so once you have the JDK installed, then we'll go through the required software for building JSF applications. So you're going to need the following. The first thing you're going to need is a Java application server. Now, there's a lot of different Java application servers out there like Tomcat, Glassfish, JBoss, WebLogic, WebSphere, and so on. The list goes on and on. However, to keep things simple and straightforward, we're going to make use of the Tomcat server and the following videos will show you how to install the Tomcat server. The next thing you're going to need is a, a development environment or a Java IDE. Now, when you make use of an IDE or a development tool, really, you can really use any tool that you want. You can use a text editor like TextPad or Notepad or VI. Uh, you can use NetBeans or whatever. Uh, but again, to keep things simple, I'm going to focus on one tool and we're going to make use of the Eclipse development environment. It's the most popular Java development environment. And I'll show you how to install that in the following slides. And then the third thing you're going to need is the JSF jar files. So JSF is an API. They have a number of classes and interfaces that you have to use, and you'll have to download those jar files and include them in your project. Now you can manually download the jar files from Oracle's website and manually include them. However, I'm going to show you this really cool trick in Eclipse where Eclipse will actually automatically download the JSF jar files for you and include it into your project. So you'll see this information in the following videos. Now, this is a lot of information to cover in just one video as far as getting all this software installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break it up into multiple videos. The first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to install uh, the Java application server or Tomcat, and I'll show you how to do it for the different operating systems. So I'll show you how to install Tomcat for Microsoft Windows and also for the Macintosh. Then we'll move forward to our Java IDE Eclipse. And again, I'll show you how to install it for Windows and also how to install it for the Mac. And then finally, I'll show you how to pull all this together uh, by making use of Eclipse. Um, we'll have Eclipse run Tomcat. And also I'll show you how to have Eclipse download those JSF jar files for you. So all this is coming up in the following videos. So for Tomcat and Eclipse, just follow the appropriate videos for your operating system. And then everything else will merge up um, after those videos. All right, so let's just do a quick summary. I um, in this video, we discussed the required software that's required for JSF development. And we also covered the high level steps. Stick around in the following videos. I'll show you how to go through each one of those steps as far as installing the app server, the IDE and getting the JSF jar files installed in your project. 